Good morning. Welcome back to Children's Worship today. Today we're going to be talking about a fun animal that I love very much. They're usually white and they have four legs and a tail and they have wool. Can you guess which animal we're going to be talking about this morning? Did you say a sheep? Yep, we're going to be talking about sheep and the people that take care of them. Now, when I was a little girl, we had sheep. I used to help my brother take care of his and my sister take care of hers. And when I got a little older, I got to have a lamb too. So it was really fun taking care of them. We needed to make sure that they had what all animals need. Animals need food. So one of my jobs was to make sure that our animals had plenty of green grass to eat. And we gave them the special food that was kind of like oatmeal with honey on it. Kind of tasted like granola. And yep, I used to sneak some out and taste it. My sister and I both did. It actually tasted pretty good. The other thing animals need is water. So we needed to make sure that they had clean water to drink. We'd clean out their water bowls and keep those filled with nice clean water for them to drink. Another thing animals need is a safe place to live. So we had a small little house for them to live in and then a big pen for them to be able to run in during the day. And that kept them safe from any animals that might wanna hurt them. Now, we only had a couple of sheep, but some people have lots and lots and lots of sheep. Sometimes they wander them around on big fields or hillsides they still need to make sure that the sheep have everything they need. Do you remember what sheep need? They need food to eat. Yep. They need water to drink and they need some, a safe place to live. Do you know what those people are called that take care of sheep? Did you say shepherd? Yes. People that take care of sheep are called shepherds. In some places in the world today, we still have shepherds that walk around with their sheep, keeping them safe as they wander through the hills. I'll show you a picture of that. Our story today is about a shepherd boy named David. It comes from the Bible. Our totally true Bible story today is Lions and Bears, the story of David, the shepherd boy. Are you ready to read? Let's go. Lions and Bears, the story of David, the shepherd boy, written by Patricia L. Netterfeld, illustrated by Yu May Han. This is a story from God's book, the Bible. It's for you and you and you. It's for me too. It comes from the Bible, 1 Samuel chapter 17. Lions are scary. Bears are scary too. Every day as David the shepherd took care of his sheep, he watched the rocks and trees carefully. Fierce lions and hungry bears lived there. Sometimes they tried to carry David's little lambs away. One day, a lion jumped from a rock and tried to carry a tiny lamb away into the forest. Quick as a wink, David rescued his lamb. 
Then David killed the lion. He held the frightened little lamb in his arms. I wonder who kept David and the lamb safe that day. Not long after that, a bear crept out of the forest looking for a lamb. But David was too quick for the bear too. Once again, David rescued his little lamb. Then David killed the bear. He gathered his scared little lambs close around him. I wonder who kept David and the lamb safe that time. Aren't you glad that our great God kept David and his lambs safe? David was glad too. He wrote a wonderful song about it, and we'll read that in a little bit. I wonder if you know that our great God keeps you safe too. Can you think of some ways that God keeps you safe every day? Let's say a prayer to our wonderful God. Dear God, thank you for watching over us and keeping us safe wherever we go. Amen. Did you like that exciting story? That had a lot of action in it. Some scary parts, didn't it? How do you think that those sheep felt when they saw that lion? I think they felt scared too. How did they feel when David protected them from the lion? Yes, they knew that David would keep them safe. What about when they saw the bear? Yes, they felt pretty scared when they saw that bear, didn't they? But then David protected them and that helped them feel safe. Now, David was just a little shepherd boy, but God helped him be strong and brave to protect his sheep. God helps us too. He protects us and keeps us safe during the days. How does that make you feel knowing that God keeps you safe too? Did you know that the Bible tells us that God is our good shepherd, that we are his little lambs and he takes good care of us? The Bible talks about that a lot because shepherds love their sheep so much and take such good care of them. God makes sure that we have everything we need. Not everything we want, but everything we need. Just like sheep, we need food to eat. We need water to drink. We need a safe place to live. And we need people that love us. And God makes sure that we have all of those things that we need. Our Bible verse today talks about that. Let's go learn it. Our Bible verse today comes from Psalm 23, verse 1. You want to do that with your fingers with me? Psalm 23, verse 1. And it goes like this. The Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. Can you say those words with me? The Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. We're going to do it this morning. We'll start it soft and we'll keep getting louder. Okay, so let's do it four times. You ready? The Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. A little louder. The Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. A little louder. The Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. One last time, really loud. You ready? The Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. Very good. You want to say it by yourself once? You ready? The Did you do it? Good job. Did you like that Bible verse? I love thinking about God being my good shepherd and taking good care of me. God said that David was a man after his own heart, 
that David loved God so much. David knew that he could tell God anything. He could tell him when he was sad or when he was happy, when he was angry, when he was scared, when he was very, very sorry for something that he'd done. David used to sing lots and lots of songs to God while he was out watching his sheep. And he wrote a lot of those down. God put them in our Bible in the book of Psalms. We're going to read one of those today. So we're going to read the rest of Psalm 23, and it's called Found. Found, a retelling of Psalm 23 from the Bible, written by Sally Lloyd-Jones and Iago. These are the words that God gave to David. God is my shepherd and I am his little lamb. He feeds me. He guides me. He helps me know where I need to go. He looks after me. I have everything I need. Inside, my heart is very quiet as quiet as lying still in soft green grass in a meadow by a stream. That always makes me feel quiet and peaceful inside. Even when I walk through the dark, scary, lonely places, I won't be afraid because my shepherd knows where I am. He is here with me. My shepherd, God, keeps me safe. He rescues me. He makes me strong and brave. He is getting wonderful things ready for me, especially for me, everything I ever dreamed of. He fills my heart so full of happiness I can't hold it all inside. Can you think of your heart being so full of happiness? That makes me smile. Are you smiling too? Wherever I go, I know. God's never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever love will go to. God gave David that song to sing to his people so they could know that he loved them and would always look after them like a shepherd loves his sheep and always looks after them. And one day God was going to do something that would inspire thousands upon thousands of new songs God was going to show his people once and for all just how much he loved them. Another shepherd was coming, a greater shepherd. He would be called the Good Shepherd. Can you guess who that is? Our Good Shepherd is Jesus. And this shepherd, Jesus, was going to lead all of God's lambs back to the place where they had always belonged, close to God's heart. Did you like that book on Psalm 23? I really did too. What was your favorite part? My favorite part was this page where it talks about all the wonderful things that God is getting ready for us. And where it says, he fills my heart so full of happiness. Sometimes he fills my heart so full of happiness that it spills out when I smile. And that's how I feel when I read that part. Well, we are going to make some art today and we are going to make some hearts filled with happiness. Are you ready? Let's go find Art Cat. All right, well, I'm here with Art Cat today. Can you say good morning to Tabs? Good morning, Tabs. We're glad you're here for art. As soon as she saw me sit down, she came and ran and jumped up. She loves doing art with all of you. We are going to make 
some happy hearts today, some hearts full of happiness using a technique called blottos. This is like my favorite, favorite art activity ever, and I hope you like it too. So here's what you need. First of all, you need to make sure that you are wearing a paint shirt because we're going to be using paint today and make sure that you cover your work area. A plastic trash bag works really well for that. Then you need some paper. You can use some colored paper and you can use some white paper. These are so fun. You're probably going to want several different kinds of paper and different colors to see how it turns out on each one. You also need some paint. You can use whatever kind of paint you have. It works fine. I have mine in bottles, so I'm just going to drip it out. If you have yours in little containers, then just use a, a spoon or um, some like a little popsicle stick and you can drop your paint on. Um, then once we're done painting, you'll also need some scissors, some glue, whoops, glue, and some markers. Okay, so are you ready? Here's what you need to do. You're going to take that paper and you're going to fold it in half. And you can fold it a different direction if you want to. If you want to fold it the long way instead, you can try that too. This is a really fun um, art activity to experiment with and try lots of different things. All right, so after you get it folded in half, you're going to open them back up again and you're going to put some paint on one half of your paper. You ready? Here we go. Once you have all of your paint dripped on one side of your paper, now comes the fun part, but it can sometimes be a little messy too. So just be kind of careful. It's probably some of the paint is going to kind of squish out the edges. So what you're going to do is you're going to fold it over and then starting kind of in the middle, just start rubbing your hand around, kind of smushing down your paper and then try and smush it together and smush that. You're going to blot all of that paint. As you get close to the edge, just be careful because it will kind of sometimes come gushing out and it'll get all over your fingers. So just kind of go carefully when you get to the edge. So you're going to smush it all flat. And then the exciting part, you get to open it up and see what happened to all of your colors. You ready? Let's see. Ah, oh, look at that. All right, let's leave that one to dry and we're going to try the same thing with this one. You ready? All right. So remember what we do first? Yep, we fold it. And then where do we start squishing it? Yeah, it's close to the middle first. Squish it flat, just rub your fingers all over it. Are you ready? We'll open and see what this one looks like. Wowie, that's beautiful. Look how pretty that is. Okay, well, we're going to let these dry while we do the next part of it. And for this one, we're going to make the outside of our picture here. So you might need some grown up help with this one. Um, we're going to cut a heart out of the middle and then we're going to write some words on that frame. So we're going to make a frame for your paper. So this is how you do it. You're going to fold it in half. And then you can have your grown up cut out or draw a heart on here so they can draw half a heart and then you can cut on that line. And when you open it up, you're going to have a heart frame. And on that frame, then you could write your Bible verse or you can write that God gives you a happy heart. Then 
you also have this fun piece and you could decorate this however you want it. When you're all finished, you're gonna glue that frame onto, this is one I made before and I wrote the words on here. And then you're just gonna glue that frame that you made onto your picture. I hope that you have a really fun time making these blottos to make these happy hearts. Have a lot of fun trying different colors and different combinations and think about all the ways that God makes your heart happy too. It's time to pray. Are you ready to talk to our Good Shepherd that loves us so much? I am too. Let's fold our hands and talk to our Good Shepherd. Dear God, we are so glad that you are our Good Shepherd, that you take such good care of us. Thank you for giving us food to eat, water to drink, a safe place to live, and people to love us. We hope that everyone in the world can have you as their good shepherd too. Please help us tell people that you are their good shepherd and that you want to take good care of them. We're so glad that just like David, we can tell you all the things in our hearts, whether we're sad or happy or scared or mad, whether we need to say, I'm sorry, God, for the the things we do wrong, the things that hurt other people, the things that hurt you, God. And we're glad that we can tell you thank you for all the wonderful things you do for us. Thank you especially for Jesus, that he died so we can be forgiven, that all of our sins are washed away and we can live forever with you. We love you so much, God. Show us people that we can share that good news of Jesus with this week. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Well, it's time to say goodbye again. I hope you liked learning more about God as your good shepherd this week. As you go through your week, See who is in your life that needs to hear that wonderful news that God loves them so, so much and that He is always watching over you. Have a great week and remember that God loves you so much.